Hello and welcome to the Hemma Tutorial Part 2. Today we're going to be looking at textures and models. As you might have noticed, we are on the map from Part 1. This is because we'll use the same map through the entire series. First, let's look at the textures. This tool is called the Texture Tool and it will be used to, well, apply textures to brushes. But before we can do any of that, look here on the side and click the Browse button. This is a Texture Explorer, and it has all of the textures from the entire game. First, we'll use the Sky Texture to find it. Type Skybox into the search bar. Now scroll down until you see this texture and select it. This is a Skybox texture. It is used to display sky around your level. It uses this texture, but you can change th that here. To get a texture name, you can go to this website and find a cool looking skybox and copy and paste the name over the default texture name. Now select the texture tool in the 3D view click on any of the outer walls. Congratulations, you just successfully applied a texture to a brush. Now repeat that four times for all outside walls and roof. For the floor, we'll use a different texture. Go back into the text browser and find grass and apply it to the ground. Now this is looking like a proper map now, but we still have to texture the cube in the middle. For that, we'll use a metal texture. There is also this texture called No Draw, which does exactly what it says, it's drawn in game. It is used in places the player can't see for better performance. There is also this trigger texture that also does what it says. It triggers when you step into it, but more on that on another video. So now we'll look into models. Place down another starting point. Select the arrow tool and double click on it. Open the menu and type prop underscore. There should be more options to choose from. Choose prop underscore dynamic. Now you should go to model viewer and select a model. You can move it and rotate with the arrow tool. You can do that with the brushes too. After you place it down, that'll be it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe to Juco and myself for more content like this. Talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.